All right, everybody, welcome back. I am trying to fit this in tonight because next two days I have got business travel that's going to take me away from the game for an extended period of time. So uh, I wanted to get these two videos in. This is the first of two. Uh, this one is going to be the second part of the wheel event that I promised you from this morning. And then uh, also we got a new event, which is one of my favorite events, and that's the More Than Gems event because, well, I like universal sculptures. So, um, and you get you get 13 right off the bat from this one, and, and it resets every 24 hours. So you'll get a total of 26, uh, 26 universal sculptures for around 50,000. Uh, gems, which is if you go to the VIP shop, which I'm VIP 14 now, by the way, because I needed to purchase some things to get up uh, some speed ups. So I went ahead and burned a few gems into there. But <clears throat> if you look in the VIP shop, it's 2,000 gems per legendary sculpture. So um, 40,000 gems will get you 20. And if you're getting 26, what is that? Forty-eight thousand. So it's about the same, roughly. You're paying fifty thousand uh, for twenty-six total uh, legendary sculptures, which means you're basically getting everything else for free, um, for the most part. So that's six gold keys. That's a ton of resources, a ton of speed ups, which I absolutely I need these speed ups in the worst way. Uh, I hit a hard wall with my speed ups uh, while I was leveling up the rest of my uh, my technology in the academy. Um, it's going to take a little, a couple more days than I thought to get, to get T5 efficiently, mostly because it takes about an hour to get 30 helps in the Alliance and I don't want to burn more than I have to. So, um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to do the wheel event. Let's start off with that. Uh, then we're going to obviously be able to claim all this stuff because <laughs> we're going to burn 25,000 gems pretty easily, uh, on the wheel event. We'll claim all this and then I think I'm going to be very close uh, to getting one more uh, level on my my Richard so or one more skill point which will put me two away from maxing him out so yeah I've got 53 now and I'll get 13 this time that'll put me at 66 and um, I've got some some shop some shop uh, legendary sculptures to buy I'll do that on this video as well. So let's get right to it. Um, again, welcome to the video. I appreciate you joining me. Um, like I said, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be out in the next couple of days, so I wanted to get these in with y'all and give y'all uh, what you're looking for, which is some spins. So let's do the the half off one first. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see what we get. All right, double C sculpture. I'll take it. All right, so we need to do the five spin. It looks like eight more times. Is that my donut right? Yeah, eight eight more times, and then I'll get I'll get the last one the next day, which is the last day, which will be half off. So we'll do this eight times. So let's go. First five spins here. Another double C sculpture. Another double C sculpture. And another double C sculpture. Two stars. And speed ups. So pretty pretty good darn first five spin. Uh, Jackson Mars commented the last one that uh, I was lucky and I guess I'm probably just rubbing salt in the wound with that with that uh, with that five spin. So I apologize about that, but uh, I can't control it, man. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I can't control it. Um, Again, I need speed ups so bad, which is why the wheel event, like, you know, whenever I didn't have all these gems, the wheel event just didn't seem like it was very lucrative for me. And, and certainly whenever, um, whenever we were doing just the basic wheel event, we would go to 10 just to get the legendary sculptures from the 10, the 10 chest and move on. Um, but going to T5, like you need so much, um, <laughs> so much speed ups just doing the math and i i was this was when i was at 22 million power i needed 925 more days of speed ups <laughs> to max out my academy so that's 22,201 hours 
and with helps, so you get 30% of the, the time if you get your maximum amount of helps if you have a maxed out Alliance Center, so that's 30 helps, 1% per help, that's 648 days left. That's with getting every single help for every single train uh, for every single uh, research for the rest of the, the researches. Um, so 648 days, and I didn't recalculate that into hours because I didn't want to see the number, but it's probably somewhere in the 17,000 range would be my guess, 17,000-ish hours, which is a lot, a lot of time. <laughs> so these actually are not too bad because when you buy the, um, when you buy the packs, the resource bundles, you get a ton of gems, and that's what took me because I was I was VIP 12 when this first started and I just hit VIP 12 I'm VIP 14 pretty handily and I'm only 250,000 away from being VIP 15 um, and when I say only 250,000 that's that's about 800 bucks of uh, of bundles so it, you're, if you're gonna buy them anyway uh, that's a good use for those gems I, I plan on using them for speed ups as much as possible and I think I should probably be T5 I want to say within a week or so uh, definitely before the next Ark of Osiris event so that'll be pretty neat anyway sidetrack I got a, I saw a squirrel I apologize um, let's go do some some more uh, some more spins uh, all right so another WC sculpture more speed ups I love it stars eh, I mean I, stars are always good but not looking for that looking for sculptures and speed ups and uh, that's what pretty much what I got and these are perfect speed ups too general speed ups and research speed ups are what I need so um, I wish I to be honest with you I wish I could just keep spinning because <laughs> this is giving me everything I need I think there's a maximum right like you can only spin a um, hundred times I've never had that problem right it's a good problem to have that's another pretty good I mean I'll take the the training speed ups I'm gonna need that later because here's the deal so if you well, well we'll go into it it's 3600 for five spins and on the average five spin I'll get 64 hours of speed up which isn't too bad yeah like that was a 45 one right there and to be honest with you, I may actually need to get some more stone. Stone looks like it's going a lot quicker than I thought. Um, everything else I think I'm pretty good on, but stone I'm definitely... Uh, I've got a ton left, but I, it's going a lot faster than than the rest of the, the resources. So, okay, so here's the typical... Um, this is actually not really that good of a roll. There's no sculptures or nothing except for the speed-ups. Um, so 32 hours there and 45 hours there. That's 77 hours, um, which is really good. That's basically almost, that's just over three days, right? Yeah, 24, 48, 72. So that's, that's just over three days. That's not bad. So just remember that after we get done with these spins, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Because if I can go over 100, I may just keep going. If it'll let me. Because I my calculations trying to get the T5 and how much it's going to cost included using gems because it's that hard to get a hold of uh, speed ups. It's that hard. Yeah, this was kind of a like not that great of a not that great of a spin. Maybe I need to start paying attention to the spins and it'll be uh, a little bit better. All right, that while well, that was a builder one, I didn't need a builder one. I'm all done with that. And there's a training one. There's a 45. I, I definitely need that. Double C sculpture and another double C sculpture. So no eights this time around. I think I've got one more five set. Um, yeah, not too bad. That was a pretty good spin. All right, let's do it one more time here. It says today's chance is 19. I wonder if I can do it more than 100 times. If I can, it may make sense to do it. Oh, universal sculpture, I'll take that. It's giving me a lot of resources now. Resources and star. This is the exact opposite of what I need. Hmm. Decisions. <laughs> decisions, decisions. 
I definitely needed that day, day of speed up another 24 hours so two days of, of research speed up is definitely worthwhile and the, the legendary sculptures I might not need to buy them off the vendor shop although I still might um, I'm curious it, it seems like you can go over right it seems like you can go over a hundred you just get rewards up to a hundred all right let's go to the other stuff and then we'll come back so we obviously spent more than 25,000 gems I don't even want to know how much I spent probably like for another 40,000 or so all right so we just we claimed all those um, let's go to we gotta do mighty army again today let's go to um, let's go to Richard so actually let me go so sawmills 100% filled up so I could accelerate that too let's um sorry I'm going all over the place now let's go to my commander so I want to say I've got enough yeah so I'm assuming everyone wants to see another another step up on a Richard skill let's let's do it let's do it like I said I'm pumping all of my uh, universal sculptures into Richard all right so I want to say that I'm hoping for this one um, this one's okay I, I do like the damage reduction not really a huge fan of the counterattack damage bonus but the damage reduction is nice but the extra three percent attack and defense on the infantry is is pretty darn good so I gotta say I'm hoping I'm hoping for Lionheart, but I'm probably going to get Chivalry just because when it comes to luck, right? Y'all y'all know my luck. From gold keys and uh, spins, I'm good luck. But with um, with skill-ups for commanders, not so good. So we'll see. Well, fingers crossed. All right, so going, trying to go for the Lionheart. Let's see how it goes. Nope. <laughs> see? That's how it... I told you. I told you. I mean... 5445 is not bad. I've got another 80 to get here, and I think it's another 80. Right? I think it's two more 80s. So that means I need 160 sculptures. Um, okay, well, I know what I need to shoot for. I've got some events to do. I've got, uh, I've got some sculptures in the VIP shop I can grab as well. Um, I can certainly do that. So, yeah, I mean, I think that'll be fine. Got some keys to open, too, if you want to go ahead and clean some keys out. I'm not going to do this, the silvers. I'm just going to wait. I usually just wait until they get to 50, and then I just hit the button one time. <laughs> it's just easier. Well, let's go through some gold keys. I've got a few. I think I still have some spots left for him, so I haven't maxed him out yet. Nothing crazy yet. Ugh. That's hot garbage. Okay, well, pretty crappy ones there, but worthwhile. So we did a couple things today. We did uh, Wheel of Fortune, and we're at 99 out of 100. And mm, if I did 15 more spins, that would be another... What is that, like 10,500 gems? I mean, I've got it, and I may get, I may get some more speed ups. So, oh, so let me show you that. So if I were to go to speed up, which I've gotten a couple more speed ups since I burned through the majority of them now, but these prices here are full price, full retail price. These are the prices that if you go to the VIP shop without a discount, that's how much they cost. So these here. You can buy as many of these as you want, but they cost full price. They're zero percent discount. That's why the courier shop is so important. And you can see I've bought every single speed up because I need them. I need them in the worst way. And I also buy every single tome of knowledge too because I don't have access to Zone Three, so uh, I don't have access to do the the guardians at the temple, which give the most XP. So I gotta kind of get it the way I can. Um, so, but what I'm saying is if I, if I spend 10,000 more gems, right, that's basically seven days of speed up. So let's see if this is worthwhile. 
because I, I could spend 10,000, and I have today, spend 10,000 gems on seven days to speed up. Uh, I sped up my loot steel and my scutum. So those are now both 10-10. So those are ready to rock and roll. <laughs> Never thought I'd see the day. So those are done. Um, I've only got these left, which will let me unlock cartography. And then my military tree for infantry will basically be done except for this. And medical corp is easy. It doesn't take very much at all. Um, yeah, but these take a decent chunk. Um, these are both 90 dayers, I believe, or something to that effect. So those are going to require a big chunk of speed up as well as resources. But this is what I'm shooting for. That's where we're headed. Um, and I've... I don't know. Do I need? I'm not sure if I need all of these unlocked to unlock one tier five. We'll figure that out as we get there. I think a few days and I'll be right there. But uh, what I'm saying is, uh, if I if I um, do this wheel event, we need to check and see if I spend ten thousand five hundred gems, if it will give me um, seven days worth of speed up. So we got to count this up, okay? So let's do it. I'm, <laughs> I've, got, I've got the gems. Let's do it. I'm going to go ahead and do three more spins, and I need to calculate. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead and get a, uh, a note card here. All right, there we go. Get a note card here to do a calculation. So we're doing this together, everybody. <laughs> All right, so here's the first spin. Two stars does not speed anything up. Nor does gold. Ugh. Sculpture doesn't either, but I'll take it. All right, so there's 32 hours. And then more stars. All right, so... Eh, roll. Literally did not help me in the slightest. <laughs> Wood. I think that was a 45-hour. 45 uh, 45 and then there's another 32. There's another... See, this is a really good... Um, speed up roll so there's uh, 45 hours times 2 so that's 90 hour 90 hours and then another 32 all right let's do one more roll hopefully it's just like that one gold that hurts so bad take another double C sculpture and a universal sculpture another universal sculpture all right didn't get any more speed ups but um, the universal sculptures are nice. I start, the second time around, I did not get any of the eights. Um, I got two the first time yesterday. All right, so just doing the math here, I got 154 hours. Yes, I'm doing... Well, there's no reason to do the actual division. That's basically six days. Six and a half days, roughly actually six and a quarter day so believe it or not just based off of that really small sample size of course if we averaged it out over the course of you know this whole 114 chest opening um, it may be a little bit different but just off of our little 15 spin uh, operation here I mean it it actually is cheaper just just from the t5 perspective so of course there's tons of value in the sculptures there's tons of value in um the the resources and the other speed ups and the universal sculptures and the chow chow sculptures there's tons of there's tons of value there i'm not saying that it's a better value to get to use gems basically non-discounted to to speed up however if you're just wanting to rush to t5 it actually seems to be a little bit more efficient to just use the gems. Um, obviously, if you've got, I would save up everything. Like hindsight being twenty twenty, right? I would save absolutely every research <laughs> and generic speed rush that I could because I know personally I have burned just weeks <laughs> of generic speed ups on random upgrades and um, 
healing. Like there was a, a between a war and Ark of Osiris, I've probably burned two weeks by itself um, of generic speed ups because I I burned through my healing speed ups. So um, I should have done a better job of stockpiling healing speed ups, but because I didn't know how Ark of Osiris was going to work before the first time and I didn't know we were going to have that war until it happened. Um, I was not prepared with health speed ups like whatsoever. So I had to burn a lot of my generic res- generic speed up uh, stockpile. And that has come to bite me in the butt um, when it comes to gearing up towards T5. I'm close. Like I said, I, I think maybe a week or so and I'm... I'm going to be ready to rock and roll with some T5, and I'll definitely bring that to you on the channel. I hope you're looking forward to it just as much as I am. Um, again, I mean, this is this is going to be a process, and it's going to be an expensive one. It already has been, but uh, looking forward to bringing that to you and showing you some different things with it. Uh, certainly pairings and, and how this, this combination will work with that and vice versa. Um, may, I've been toying around with the idea of... Uh, of switching over to Rome. Um, I like the attack of Japan because it, it applies to all troops, not just infantry. But the more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm going to have two or three infantry groups on the battlefield. Um, and it may make sense to get the extra 5% defense. And not to mention the thing that really is making me go over is the march speed. The march speed is invaluable. And Ark of Osiris, invaluable. So I'm toying with the idea. I like the Japan civilization. Just one, an aesthetic thing. I've, I'm, I'm very much into history, and Japanese history is definitely part of that. But secondly, um, I like the attack. Uh, and I wanted to test, once I get here and once um, Ronnie gets to his T5, I wanted to test, because we'll both be at the same, um, the same research level, so I wanted to test how attack versus defense and also attack versus health. That's the big thing that I wanted to test was defense versus health, which one's more important on the battlefield, especially when it comes to infantry. So that's what's coming down the road as we get this rolling out. Um, I think I'm going to cut it off here, and I'm going to also make another video before I uh, hit the bed regarding... Um, second, third, and possibly fourth accounts. Uh, what you want to do, how you want to use them, how I organize them, uh, and, and some maybe some tips and tricks on why, uh, why you should do it or why you shouldn't. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, I'll sign off here. Uh, again, really enjoyed bringing this stuff to you guys, and I, I'm loving the feedback that I'm starting to get. The subscriber count's going up. I think we've tripled over the past couple days, so I appreciate that um, immensely. I can't tell you how much I, I do, and um, I'm going to continue to bring this stuff to you, and, and hopefully you enjoy it, and hopefully it's it's worthwhile and entertaining. Um, just let me know what y'all think in the comments, and give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Uh, give me some feedback on what you want to see, too. I'm, I've got a list of stuff that I want to do for y'all, and some of it's uh, just updated content that's already out there, and some of it's some new stuff, but... If there's anything y'all want to see that's within my power, so I don't have Supermax uh, commanders all over the place. I've got a couple that are really high and some that are maxed. It looks like we can up the uh, up the double C skill there. There's a little something for you to, to leave the, the video with. Um, just let me know. I'm, I'm happy to, if I, can, if I can bring it to the table, I'll certainly do it and I'll spend the time putting it together for you. So um, with that said, Enjoy your evening, uh, and again, have fun conquering your world. Take care. Bye.